Welcome to another episode of TPM Ridge, the podcast where we bring in industry leaders in technical program management to share their insights, experiences, and the lessons they've learned on the front lines of the TPM movement. I'm your host, Doran Katz, and each week we dive in deep into the methodologies, mindsets, and tools that will empower you to drive excellence in technical program management. Whether you're new to TPM or looking to take your skills to the next level, this podcast is your go-to resource for transforming TPM principles into real-world success. All right, so we're at TPM with podcast, live from the TPM yeah. And the, the onsite is transitioning to other sessions, like from Stefan, from Adil, and so forth. Um, I will welcome a true legend of the TPM community, Harman. Welcome. Thank you. Maybe do a quick introduction yourself. Uh, I need to look too much on my phone, what you have achieved, and you have been instrumental in creating a TPM community. Maybe you can quickly introduce yourself to them. Sure, sure. Hello, everyone. I'm Harman. I'm, uh, I've been part of the TPM community for a while. Uh, uh, I am a seasoned leader with a technical background, uh, over two decades of experience in technology. Uh, throughout my career, I have uh, worked on various initiatives and done significant contributions in engineering and then technical program management. So my journey started at Texas Instruments uh, and from there I worked at Amazon, Airbnb, Uber, and more recently I started at McAfee as a senior director of TPM. Tell us about, so I think like I have to admit like if you haven't been like doing this meetups and building the TPM community um, and specifically also, like in Silicon Valley, I think like we wouldn't sit here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell us like, how did you come up with the idea? How did you start it? What do you enjoy most about like, if like sure. making these meetups happen? Sure. So I think so, as I mentioned the journey a bit in terms of where I worked, right? Uh, one key thing that I ended up mm -hmm. at Amazon, right? Amazon was a place where people in the big. So I learned from other TPMs out there. Amazon used to have an internal TPM conference. So I knew there is something in this trait where people can learn from each other, right? When I moved to Airbnb in uh, 2018, the uh, community, uh, there were a few TPMs early in the life cycle. Uh, and then I got introduced to a small group of TPMs in San Francisco at Lyft, Slack, who were doing this in-person meetup and there was a Lyft event that I participated at. And that's where it clicked me that, okay, we could do something similar to Airbnb. Airbnb. I decided to host the next event just in time before COVID hit us, uh, right? A week before COVID, we had in-person event and came to know our people. There was already Slack multiple that Slack hadn't been yeah. straight, mostly, right? So I latched onto that immediately after COVID. Uh, I met Janet as part of that, and we decided, like, what can we do? We are all stuck in our homes. And we just came with the idea of virtual health proposition where we can add value in everyday life. They were difficult to organize in first, so we did once every quarter, picking up a topic, picking up panelists, running the show, bringing the people in, preparing, running a one-hour good session, and virtually collaborating at that. Uh, that, that helped me in screen or of my community feeling about TPMs. Yeah. And from there on, here we are at TPM Summit. You can see so many folks out there. So excited to see so many people out down here. Yeah. I mean, I got also like exposed to that. And when I was like, also speaking at yeah. Summit and you've been like uh, doing the panel last year. And uh, you're trying the panel this year as well. Yeah, I'm running the panel this year. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think like like last year was a big kickstart again or an amplification of um of like you know TPM trail through doing this podcast now and um, brought it to Europe or which brought it to, to India. I think like also very important because of important TPM and yes. um and I think like what do you enjoy most about being at TPM when you're organizing meetups? <laughs> For me, I think so. The way I would say as a chief man, the few things that matter to me is uh, delivering the business outcomes, right? As, as chief man, our role typically is being that glue with all the cross functions teams that go to deliver business outcomes. Now, it's very easy for TPM to say, I'm a technical program and I'll get sucked into solving engineering problems or product problems, but we forget that at the end of the day, we are delivering to some business outcomes that the organization needs from us. Mm -hmm. So, so think to that and having this strong sense of ownership and accountability, 
really is what I enjoy the most. So I think so for me, and, and, and as it broadens my perspective, when I deliver into this, it has helped me with my professional and personal growth. And and I, I would say the three key pieces that I feel keep on at the most value on. One is, you are the one peeling the onion. You bring that clarity in the program. Your role is to resolve the ambiguity. Like, just no one is solving, doesn't mean the problem cannot be solved. You have to solve it, right? You have to manage the dependencies. You have to manage the risk. Uh, so everything that needs to be brought in or control, you have to manage all the chaos around it and bring that control. You can live in chaos. Uh, second is distilling things into chunks, digestible chunks. I call them work stream, you call them whatever you want. But we're trying to bring it into reasonable chunks and you just want a technical know how to do that. Right? And third is crisp communication, right? Uh, the key part as a TPM is to make it very crisp and clear in terms of where the problems are, how are you solving it, and if you need leadership help, then getting their help to solve it. You cannot just estimate saying, hey, there's a problem. Mm. Right. But your job is to solve it. Yeah. If you're not able to solve one way to solve it, to bring you to attention, you need to be clear to listen to why you need this help. So being crisp in your communication is very, very critical. Yeah. And I mean, like you're seeing a director, what, what, which advice would you give mm. uh, TPMs like who are starting out or are early in their career? Which two things like would you give them along in their journey? Which maybe, and folks that know at the beginning, you didn't know, but it's maybe yes. getting smarter over years. I think the one thing I'll say is your life is not about doing tasks. Like Jane mentioned in the keynote this morning, do not equate to impact. Yeah. Right? And as a TPM, your role is to have an impact on the initiative, and that's why you have to meet the business outcome instead. So find what is expected of you, which is not always clear. So you have to resolve that ambiguity for yourself. Yeah. Right? When you make an impact, what is your leadership looking for from you? And start doing that. And one thing I've learned so far in different roles at IC management and leadership is about as you enter in new, as you transition into new, when you change companies, we try to be perfect. We want to show a good face. What I've learned very recently from one of our CTOs is like, perfect is the enemy of good. Yeah. Right? So I would say jump in, see what is needed, start making changes. You need to be iterative. You cannot be perfect and you cannot wait for things to happen. You have to make that happen. Yeah. And you learn along the way and you'll be iterative. You said it one important thing and in summary as well, it's like you still learn. Of course. And everyone is learning. And I mean, if you look out there, everyone is here next to networking also for learning. Um, what are you looking for most in the panel that's upcoming? I think for me, it's about sharing my experience. There's a lot of buzz around AI, so I'm looking to learn about what others have to say out there. I'll share something on the front of the panel, so you go watch the panel for that. But uh, for me, I think it's about sharing experiences, getting everyone. You learn from each other, and I think so. At times, we feel very individual, so we feel honored. We feel we are stuck. But no, you just keep floating, you just keep doing things, keep moving on, and you will find the path forward. Yeah. I think like also like like James spoke about like AI prompting for TPM. So let's see where this AI works. Uh, Thank you for doing this podcast. It's, it's such a great addition to our TPM community. Mm-hmm. Will that information stream that can flow out to people? We can learn from each other. This is all adding on you. Yeah, for those who are missing power, who will later to the yeah. um, sessions. Um, so thank you very much for uh, diving in. Um, we are back at 11.45 with Chains of Code. Thanks to you. Thank you.